Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. My name is Bonnie Norkers, and today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite songs. This is none other than Georgia On My Mind. So, this song was written in 1930 by the one and only Hoagie Carmichael. Uh, I like to play this in the key of F. I think a lot of people do too, usually F or G. You can play it in whatever key suits you though. I like F. So, without further ado, Piano Cam! Da, 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 da. All right, there we go. Get my hair out of the way. back up here. Hmm. All right, so diving into my new favorite book, Tunes of the 20s. Uh, this is not a tune of the 20, it's a tune of 1930, but we're going to include it, or they chose to include it anyways. So um, Hoagie Carmichael's dad really wanted him to be a lawyer. So he went to law school, graduated in 1926, and passed the bar in 1927. I think that's pretty impressive. But more impressively, in 1927, Hoagie actually also wrote a song called Stardust, and that went on to become one of the most recorded songs of the 20th century. I think that's a little bit more impressive, don't you? Um, <laughs> yeah, he wrote a ton of other standards. Uh, Riverboat Shuffle and Rocking Chair are the ones listed in this book. Though if you go through his tune list, you'll find so many that you know, especially if you're an avid jazz fan. I want to jump to the section here in the book about his recording session. So uh, the book says, Hoagie was a fine singer in his own right, and the outstanding lineup of musicians on the date included Joe Venuti, Jack Teagarden, and Bix Beiderbeck. Not a bad band at all. <laughs> um, this was to be one of Bix's last, no, this was to be Bix's last recording section. And fittingly, he plays the closing bars of the song as a muted cornet solo. In 2014, the recording was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. So some fun facts about this song. A lot of people think that this was written for the state of Georgia. Uh, Ray Charles recorded it in 1960 and Willie Nelson recorded this in 1978. Um, and the tune was officially declared their state song state song of Georgia. But when Hoagie wrote the song, he'd never actually been to Georgia. He actually wrote the song for his sister. Um, yeah, just great. Just so great. <laughs> In 2009, uh, Michael Buble recorded this song and he sings a rendition of Georgia on my mind on his album Crazy Love. So shout out to like local artist who's done good, Michael Buble. Um, I'm going to sing you this song to close out. Here's Georgia on my mind. I'm staying in the key of F today. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through, just an old sweet song. Joy. 
Georgia on my mind. Thanks so much. That was Georgia on My Mind by Hody Carmichael, 1930. We'll see you next time.